Since ancient times, humans have looked up at the sky and seen patterns among the stars. They created figures, gave them names, and even connected them to myths. But what exactly are constellations? And why do we classify them? A constellation is a group of stars that, when viewed from Earth, appear to form a recognizable pattern. But this is just an illusion of perspective. These stars may be at completely different distances from one another in space, yet from our viewpoint, they seem aligned. The concept of constellations dates back thousands of years. Ancient civilizations like the Babylonians, Egyptians, and Greeks used the stars for navigation, timekeeping, and storytelling. Each culture created its own constellations, associating them with gods, heroes, and mythical creatures. In the past, every civilization saw the sky differently, but to standardize astronomy, the International Astronomical Union established an official list in 1928, defining 88 recognized constellations that divide the sky into fixed regions. Among the 88 constellations, some of the most well-known include Orion, representing a mythological hunter, one of the most recognizable constellations, Ursa Major and Ursa Minor. Minor, important for navigation, home to the North Star. The Zodiac Belt, a group of 12 constellations along which the sun appears to move throughout the year. Constellations are not permanent. Because of the movement of stars over millions of years, the sky as seen from Earth will change completely in the distant future. The Chinese, Mayan, and Australian Aboriginal civilizations also created their own celestial maps, different from Western constellations. Some constellations can only be seen from certain locations on Earth depending on the time of year and your latitude. Constellations are like cosmic maps created by our ancestors to understand the sky. But how will we view the stars in the future? 